Do you know that sunlight is always exerting a force of 67 billion newtons on the Earth's surface and that the sun is losing 1.29 times 10 to the 12th power kilograms of mass per second just by the emission of light? These things would suggest that light has mass. Before I continue any further, let's take a look at the difference between rest mass and relativistic mass. Rest mass is the mass of an object when it is at rest relative to its surroundings and it is always the same. Whereas, relativistic mass is the mass of a moving body. Consider two identical bodies, one is stationary and the other one moving at a very high speed. Then the mass of the moving body would be much more than the stationary one as the moving body is having the extra kinetic energy which the stationary one does not. Keep these two terms in mind as I'll be referring to these later in the video. Now back to the previous question, does light have mass? For that, we need to look at what light is made up of. Light is composed of photons, which are discrete packets of energy and are massless. But wait a second, photons have energy, and according to the most famous equation on Earth, E equals mc squared, anything that has energy has mass. Then how is it possible that photons have energy but no mass. Well, when I say that photons are massless, I actually mean that they do not have rest mass because anything having rest mass can never reach the speed of light as it requires infinite amount of energy. And photons do not exist at rest, so the idea of rest mass doesn't really apply to them. Instead, photons have relativistic mass which is responsible for its energy and momentum and according to the general theory of relativity photons can exert gravitational force of attraction and can also be affected by gravity themselves and now the question arises if the photons do have relativistic mass then why do we say that they are massless it is because by convection it is not correct to define the mass of any object by its relativistic mass as it depends on the velocity of the object which can of course change therefore instead of having a changing relativistic mass we prefer to define the mass of any object by its constant rest mass one more thing at the beginning of this video i said that the sunlight is exerting a large amount of force on the earth how is that possible well the photons have momentum and when they strike the earth they transfer this momentum to the earth exerting a large amount of force i hope you enjoyed the video please like and comment 